This video is brought to you by Squarespace. Whether it's a domain, website, or online store you need, be sure to make your next move with Squarespace. By the way, use the link in the video description, it's also right here in the video, to get 10% off your first purchase. Who wants a graphics card mounted vertically in a case that doesn't natively support vertical graphics card mounting? This guy, look what he did, and it cost zero dollars and zero cents. So I had a lot of fun with uh, trying to get this GPU mounted vertically, and as I said in this video, it won't cost you a dime, assuming you have the one tool that is required for uh, kind of altering the case a bit. That one tool, a pair of diagonal cutters, something you would use to cut wire or thin metal. In this case, just plastic and aluminum are what comprise the chassis, and so it wasn't that difficult to use these to cut through the aluminum in the grill at the back of the case. Now that's the only other thing you're gonna need other than a graphics card that's actually gonna fit if you have a especially large CPU cooler installed, uh, is a back grill with some open holes that you can use to kind of wedge your graphics card in there. And that's why this is a toolless thing. Like you don't need a bracket or anything else, at least not for this particular case. Any case really that has these small little holes at the back should be good enough for mounting the graphics card the way that I have in this case. So to get things started, I suggest lining up your graphics card roughly where you expect it to be when it's all said and done. So you wanna have enough space underneath the card for the riser card. Remember, that's what's gonna connect the graphics card to the motherboard itself. You do need that with a vertically mounted card. Uh, so you'll have to have one of those on hand, but the actual mod itself is not gonna cost anything at all. Uh, so when you have it lined up roughly where you think it's gonna be, I suggest cutting out two slots in the back grill that are going to be good for those little metal feet on the back of the graphics card. Cut out just enough room for those legs to squeeze through. That's really all you need to do at the base of the grill. Now up top you've got that 90 degree hinge that you usually use to secure the graphics card to a case that just has native uh, horizontal graphics card mounting. You're going to use those to kind of keep the card upright. So you're going to use the 90 degree bend to let the card hang on the chassis. The trick though is finding a way to mount that 90 degree bracket and keep it on the grill. It's going to want to fall this way, right? If you don't have anything locking that hinge in place. So what I did was I cut the grill out and I, I cut it in such a way that I allowed the grill to be wrapped around some of those small little areas that were cut into that hinge. So you can see how I bent two areas in this grill. I ran them both, one through the central hole where one of the screws would go, and then also one up the top where the second screw would go. So I'm using those to prevent the card from falling this way. And if you've got the feet properly secured at the base, this card really shouldn't go anywhere. It's pretty sturdy as is, and you can see it's really retaining its uh, original position. It just wants to be level and flat. If you find that the card is slightly hanging, then you can kind of just bend the grill a little bit. This, this thing really isn't going anywhere. Connect your eight pin, six pin VGA cables, whatever you have up top, and remember to connect the riser card, which is really the only purchase necessary, but the actual mod, like I said, is, is free. You can do this with, with one tool, uh, and then your card should be working fine. Oh, don't forget to cut out a few slots at the back for your HDMI or DisplayPort uh, connections. Those obviously needed as well, just to take those uh, diagonal cutters, cut a few slots out, and voila, there you go. A vertical graphics card mount, and uh, the mod itself costs literally nothing. Now, if you're wondering about temperatures, this is a blower style card. So all the air is pulled in through this opening here, and it's being forced out the back of the card. Now, with the front panel being literally about two or so centimeters from the opening in the graphics card, you might be wondering how temperatures are faring this way versus if you just mounted it horizontally. And this graph here shows you the delta. So between the two, I actually had a two degree increase for the GPU temperature with the card mounted vertically. Not, you know, super substantial. I don't think that it's going to deter anyone from wanting to do this. Keep in mind that this is a blower style card, like I said. So if you have a card that's, you know, cooled with three fans, it's an AIB card, then uh, temperatures may vary slightly. But this isn't gonna absolutely choke your graphics card. That's not what's gonna happen here. In fact, with fans in the front, you're still gonna have pretty solid airflow moving through the card anyway, even if these fans up front aren't getting much air. So maybe overcompensate with the front fans and you should be fine. Now at this point, you might be thinking to yourself, Greg, I don't know if I want to take the risk here. I mean, you, you cut it and it looks fine with the card there, but if I cut mine and it doesn't turn out well and my card doesn't mount the way that you mounted yours, I'm just gonna have an ugly hole at the back of my case. And yeah, that's the risk that you're incurring here. But I would say, 
say, I mean, you're gonna be looking at your case either from the side or from the front, and you can't really tell how I cut this up. I mean, from the back, it looks pretty rough, not gonna lie. I didn't bother shaving the edges, the sharp metal um, edges there, but it doesn't look bad from the front. And I'd say that, uh, yeah, I would do this again for sure in a case that I knew was compatible with this method. Look, sure, you can go out and buy a proper two slot graphics card bracket to mount vertically. You could Dremel through your case and make it look nice and pretty, but you can't really see the dirt from the back of the case unless you're at the back of the case, which would be a weird orientation anyway. Most people look at the case from the front and from the side, and from both, I think it looks pretty good. And this mod only took me about 10 minutes, so if you're looking for a quick and dirty solution, I say this is the way to go. Assuming you have a case that supports this cutting method here, you gotta have some kind of mesh metal grill at the back of your case, and you should be able to pull off something like this with a simple tool. If you at least like the effort or like the idea, be sure to let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I do appreciate that. Also, click the subscribe button for more content like this on the channel. And uh, stay tuned for a few reviews that I have lined up. I'm going to do a laptop head-to-head -head mashup and a review of the OnePlus 5 coming here soon. This is Science Studio. Thanks for modding with us.